Disclaimer, I do not dislike TV Sins, and that is not a lie. So I'm sending another SpongeBob TV Sins episode, and this time it's for Band Geeks, and I'd like to say two things before we start. The first is that the order in which I did my previous four videos, two requests, and then two that I want to do, I'm going to continue doing that order instead of just doing one request and then one that I want to do. And the second thing I wanted to say was that I'm giving another shout out to Gabriel Ortiz for requesting this video. Enjoy, everybody. Is it just me, or does Squidward's house look like the cursed tiki doll from the fourth season premiere of The Brady Bunch, Hawaii Bound? I guess if you're going to rip off someone, rip off from the best, or The Brady Bunch. I don't think so, because as you can see here, they look different from each other. Also, even if they did look alike, how would that be a sin? Why would Squidward need an actual clarinet when the opening makes it clear that these creatures can play their own noses? Because that's part of Squidward's character. He thinks that he's talented at playing the clarinet when, in actuality, he plays it badly. Also, most of the fish in the show don't have noses, and Spongebob is shown to be the only character that can play music with his nose. Well, how exactly do books work in an underwater environment? Do they have special waterproof pages? Does everyone just get used to soggy paper? And if so, how do they turn the pages without tearing them? Yeah, yeah, it's a cartoon, but they drew books on the bookshelf, so f*** them, not me. There have been episodes in the show where the characters are reading books and are able to turn the pages just fine. Also, electrical audio equipment underwater? What would you even listen to on this? The Beach Boys? The Strokes? Not a sir? Well, they aren't used a lot in the show, but in the episode Jellyfish Jam, speakers were used by SpongeBob and Jellyfish to listen to techno music. Why is there visible spit shooting from his mouth and dropping, when even if you could see it in the water, it would just be floating in front of him? I'm beginning to think this cartoon isn't actually concerned with the actual ramifications of living in a pineapple under the sea. There have been moments in the show where Drill is shown to not be floating in midair, and this screenshot with Patrick is an example of this. Good luck next Tuesday! I hope the audience brings lots of ibuprofen. Question, why would Squilliam Fancy Son from band class call and offer this primo gig to someone who they think sucks at playing music? The episode seems to indicate that the Squilliam Fancy Son from band class wants to prove that Squidward doesn't actually have a band and works in fast food. It actually isn't until the episode Squilliam returns that Squidward says that he works in food service and lies that he owns a five-star restaurant. I've got to drum up a marching band fast. <laughs> drum. <laughs> Band humor. Band humor. This is you just saying what had just happened in the episode. Also reading. Well, the characters need to be reading this in order to decide if they want to become part of Squidward's show. Practice begins tonight. I just want to confirm the joke here is that Squidward snuck into people's homes and posted this ad in their showers. And I have to say, that's brilliant marketing. You're telling me you wouldn't remember it if you got in a shower and an ad was taped to your wall? We're going to start advertising our podcast this way, and if we get caught, I'm using the Squidward defense. I would assume that this bathroom is actually at a gym and Twitter put his flyer in the bathroom when no one was using it. And since Larry works out, he'd be at a gym, which he was shown being at in many episodes and even owned his own gym in the episode Larry's Gym. All in all, you mean to tell me that you've never been to a gym before? Is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. Have to disagree there, Squiddy. For some, mayonnaise is an instrument that makes your intestines play all kinds of awful music. Sinning is mayonnaise an instrument. That's worth 60 sins. Also, what's up with the lipstick whale playing a saxophone in the brass section? That thing has more wooden wind to it than the porn and beans festival I hosted last Christmas. Who cares? And did you know this character's name is Pearl Krabs? Pearl Krabs? That's not a cartoon character, that's a gender-specific STD. Well, Pearl is Mr. Krabs' daughter, and since Krabs is his last name, then that has to be her last name as well. Also, Sandy Cracker, or whatever her name is, is to Patrick's left here, but then in a completely different section here. I agree with what you said here, but what I'm sending you for here is that Sandy's last name is Cheeks, not Crack. I swear this show might actually break me. When they ask who finally took out Mr. Sins, you can tell him it was the squishy cube of yellow who eventually did the deed. That was not a sin. That was a thought. And like in the Madagascar video, I'll be giving out an award for the same reason, but this will just be for TV sins only. Well, maybe we wouldn't sound so bad if some people didn't try to play with big, meaty claws! Random fish saxophonist would be fantastic at TV sins. Sending this funny line. That's worth 15 sins. Oh, so now the talking cheese is gonna preach to us! His name is SpongeBob, not Cheese Bob, so how does that even make sense? I would guess that's because he looks like Cheese, which is why he briefly had the name Cheesehead Brown Pants in the episode Whatever Happened to Spongebob. Why is Squilliam Fancy Son from band class joining them on the stage for an event he told the organizers he couldn't attend with a band he never expected to be real? Planning committee for the Bubble Bowl should be fired immediately. Shortly before the band showed up, Squilliam said that he came to watch Squidward blow it. These are some ugly looking fish. So humans are just fully aware of Spongebob and company and just roll with it? There's not enough alcohol in the world that would cause this kind of universal acceptance amongst a crowded football stadium. Yeah, that's what's happening, so you should also roll with it. And here's the end result, everybody. The TV sin sin total was 102, and the sentence will be Big Sinny Sins. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have a nice day.